Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today I'm going to do something a little different. I want to do, try out something new, daily soap, spool, soap re recap. It's something different, it's something that I want to be really short and I want you to let me know if you like it, if it's something I should continue or should I just discontinue this. So I'm showing you these videos to get your opinion. So I'm going to start with yesterday's episodes, which is uh, Tuesday, September the 8th. I have not finished watching today's episodes. When I finish this video, these videos, and send them out to you, I'm going to finish uh, tonight's um, soaps. And then I'll do this again. And I want you all to let me know if this is something you want me to continue or if this is something that, you know, you're not really feeling. So here we go. Daily soap recaps are going to be really, really short videos. Just gives you my quick thoughts on on that day's episode. So I'm gonna start with Days of Our Lives. We saw a trip. Um, he he dropped the picture, and glass was everywhere. And I started thinking, because the last shot we saw before that, Trip was just holding the picture. So how did it get broken? Knowing that Ava's coming back, and we have another character come back, Vamnesia. Uh, so I'm assuming the Kirk with amnesia is going to be Ava, since that's what happens when people are brought back to life by Dr. Rolf, they have amnesia. So I'm still thinking that Trip knows his mother is alive and he's still um, being bad toward uh, something about it. Maybe he wants to break up Steve and Kayla so that his mother can get back with Steve. I don't know how it was going to play out, but I thought it was really interesting that he was wearing a hoodie. Uh, he claims the door was unlocked, and Steve said, "However, you got in." So it was. It was just. I was just noticing little things. So I'm wondering if Trip is coming back, and on behalf of his mother, or Trip is coming back, and it has. It, it's just my imagination, and he's not really coming back. You know, starting stuff again. Uh, but I want to know your opinion on that. What do you think about Trip? Do you think that? You know, it was an accident when he dropped the picture. Or do you think that he did it on purpose? And um, Kayla, the way she came running in with that bat was weird because she was holding the bat in the middle. If you're trying to hit in the truth with a brat, you hold it like you would in like a baseball game. You hold the bottom. You don't hold the bat in the middle. <laughs> it just looked weird. It's something that stood out to me. Vincent uh, was engaged to Wendy. Claire thinks that Sean is talking about her when he says this crazy person should have been locked up. She doesn't realize that he was talking about Jan. Gwen and Abigail have a tense meeting where Abigail Spidey senses up that something's going on with Gwen. Abigail checks herself out of the clinic. She says she's still having visions, but she's got him in check and she's out against doctor's orders. So that could turn um, against her if Gwen manages to start poisoning her again. Um, Trip uh, from a waiter to to a doctor in three years, it takes ten years to be a doctor. But Trip has fast tracked all his classes like soap style and he's only a few semesters away from being an actual doctor. If Sierra um, can fight, why didn't she fight sooner? Uh, Gwen mentions to Claire about her obsessions with Trip because you know she's about to run in the trip. Later, Abigail and Chad remember when Abigail was poisoned and then it's revealed that Gwen was there and she's holding the poison. So we all said how could Gwen possibly poison Abigail when she was in the mental institution? Well, now we know that it, it really is Gwen the whole time. And if you watch my soap spoilers, I let you know that Gwen is going to try to poison Abigail again by the end of the week, but she doesn't drink the tea because, or doesn't drink the drink because Chad comes in. Um, Sierra makes an escape attempt and gets recaptured, but if she stuck the needle in Vincent and it was supposed to knock her out, why didn't it keep him unconscious? I don't know. That didn't make sense to me. Um, just as Hope and Sean arrived to save her, they're already gone. And Sierra and Vincent um, are in a car when he calls her Wendy. So was was the needle supposed to knock her out? Or was it supposed to cause her to hallucinate and not know what was going on? So that's it for this episode. Just quick recap. 
Let me know what your thoughts were about this episode. And I'll see you in the next video.